Minasa Konnichiwa, this is David. I'm doing a review of the Tri Burning Gundam, the 1144HG from Build Fighters Tri. Mm. Um, I have pulled out my Build Burning Gundam, uh, its predecessor, uh, for a little point by point comparison. Um, there's actually not a lot of differences. Exactly. Uh, yeah, that's that's going to be a little disappointing for some, but I can I can tell you what the differences are. Um, but first off, I want to just show you the kit itself. Um, it is certainly pretty. It is. It is. And as you will notice, immediately there are a ton of effect parts. Yes. Um, and that's probably a lot of why it, it didn't change, like to justify keeping it the price reasonable. Um, they had to keep the design simple. Um, but lots of cool fire parts. Um, it's... Yeah, do these pieces form together into the Phoenix Punk thing? No, they don't. I thought they did, but I because I saw someone who did it, but they actually did a custom diorama of it. I think you could emulate it if you were like really careful about it, but it would be it wouldn't be exact. I'm just, so that's unfortunate. I'm hoping Premium Bandai gets their shit together <laughs> and delivers one because I, I will totally buy one if they yeah. do it. Uh, it would be awesome. Mm. Um, so anyway, um, it has, basically, it has effect parts at every possible place that it could, mm -hmm. um, except maybe the feet. Um, yeah, and the crotch. And um, so, fiery you know, crotch. Fiery crotch. Uh, although there's a way that you could do it. I'll, I'm not going to actually gonna do that. <laughs> Figure it out yourself, kids. And it even, it has these two little pieces here, which let you attach um, the expansion pieces on in different ways, um, so, like in different lang angles. So if you don't have enough fire, here's some more fire. Yeah, yeah, it's just a way. Um, also, you have the three um, attack effects pieces, mm. which are two punches mm -hmm. and, and a kick. kick. Um. And those just snap onto his extremities uh, mm -hmm. real simply. Um, the punches actually go onto these special hands. So he has he has normal hands too that um, have full range of motion, um, full ninety degree range of motion, um, or one hundred and eighty degree, I guess. And these um, are effect hands, which of course are fiery hands, um, and they have channels that you can slide the effect part onto, so you can do his fiery punches. Um, the range of motion is not dissimilar to the Build Burning Gundam. It is slightly less articulate, uh, only because of the effects parts, really. Um, mm. They kind of get in the way a little bit, but not a lot. Um, you can still do a lot of martial arty stuff with the Tri-Burning. Uh, yeah, he can he can do a JV, JCVD there. Speaking of burning. Um, yes. Um, and basically, like, if you take the effects parts off, then, of course, he can do a little bit more. Which you can, because they offer yes. you all of these blue pieces. All of these these clear blue pieces basically just replace the normal effects parts. Mm -hmm. These are different, of course, than the Build Burning Gundam. The Build Burning Gundam doesn't have all of these cool effects parts. Mm -hmm. um, and these, of course, in the, the story are um, special joints that are supposed to be able to handle Sekai's martial arts style. Mm -hmm. um, which is kind of neat. But they, they do look pretty. I'm not going to put them on because it takes a little while because mm. it's a whole bunch of little fiddly bits. It's easy to do. It's just monotonous. Mm. Um, and it doesn't actually look that much different. It just looks like those are blue mm. and not pronounced as fire. <laughs> um, so... Maybe you can post a picture later. Yeah, yeah. So the... the um, the build burning actually has a couple of effects parts. The build burning does um, in similar places, but they're less pronounced. Like you have that little glowing uh, orange, and then you have a little bit of glowing orange here, um, and then you have the the fiery punch effect, and you have the same back um, circular thing, the arcs. Um, but so here's some here's some differences. These shoulders um, on the build burning and the tri burning mm -hmm. are identical. Um, the shoulder pieces are identical, except for the connectors here. These look like poly caps. On the tri burning, they're actually clear, uh, clear pink plastic, um, so they fit in the fire part. That's the only difference is just the color of that piece. Mm. Um, that that stinks a little. Um, the chest adapter is a little different. Uh, it has to be because it has to fit on those huge fiery effects parts, but it looks identical. Uh, it has the same vents, the same centerpiece. This centerpiece right here, it pops out. I could just put in the, the tri-burnings um, effect part. 
it's it's identical. Mm. Um, the center skirts are all the same. The side skirts, actually, the side skirts are the same. Um, you can snap off these little red pieces here and just put on the effects parts. It's identical. Um, the arms, though, these parts on the, the braces on the arms, they are different. Um, they will not take the same effects pieces. Um, but it's a subtle difference. It doesn't even look that different. Um, then we've got the legs pretty much the same on mm -hmm. the build burning and the tri burning. The bottom parts of the legs are different though. Um, the bottom parts uh, are, are different. Um, you can see the tri burning has like a squared edges effect going on there mm -hmm. um, in order to accommodate the effects parts. And it doesn't have the big kneecap uh, piece here. Mm -hmm. um, that just doesn't exist on the tri burning. Um, but that's mostly just because you can replace it with a giant piece of fire. Um, the feet, actually the feet are the same. It's the, the only difference is a sticker there. Yeah. And I think that the build burning came with that sticker too. <laughs> I just didn't put it on. Fair. Yeah. Um, so the feet are identical. Um, the foot guards, the ankle guards, they're identical too. Mm. Backpack. It is different. It's a little nicer in white. Um, well, it's it's multiple colors. Um, it is multiple pieces. This is literally just two pieces. Mm -hmm. um, this is two pieces, and then it's got a top and a bottom brace. Mm. Um, so it looks a little bit more ornate. Mm. Um, you also get two forms of that mm. piece um, because you get the blue version. Um, you have to take the braces off to change them, but mm. it changes out. Um, and so it looks a little nicer. The back... It's all pretty much the same. Um, again, the, the lower leg vents are different. Um, so largely, it's the same Gunpla. Um, really, the biggest changes are in the, the subtlety on the legs and the arms here. Um, our heads are, are identical. Um, okay, so the reason that this guy exists... Yeah. Is because of the second, in the middle of the season changeover that all of the pilots need to have better robots. Yes, because Bandai needs to sell toys. Right, sure. Now, how did they handle that with the Lightning? With Lightning Gundam? Right, because we were just we were just looking at that as a review. It's Lightning. Well, so the yeah system. the the Lightning Back um, Weapon System Mark II, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, which is literally just a, an additional effects part, or once an effect part. It's a backpack. Right. Um, so they just changed out a backpack. It's the same Gundam. So theoretically, they could have just given you a kit. Yes. Um, in order to have done that, they would have needed to give me um, two runners of effects parts. Mm -hmm. um, and one runner that had leg pieces and arm pieces. Um, and a change out for the shoulders. The, and the, yeah. Well, yeah, that would have been just on the effects runner. Yeah. And then the, the red sh um, chest piece is a little bit different. So they would have needed to give me that. Um, they could have done it in three runners, uh, yeah. one multicolored a runner and two effects runners. Okay. Um, the tri burning does have the same standard fire effect runner that the build burning does, mm. but it also has two more. I see. Um, so it, it does have a lot more effects pieces. Um, I think, <coughs> I think that that probably would have been a more like, I don't know. I, I think it would have been a more honest approach to it. Mm-hmm. Um, and also it sort of would have uh, promoted more of the tinkering that build fighters wants to support. Mm. Um, but I, you know, I can't fault them. It's, it is, there, there are a lot of pieces there. So, um, with the effect parts, um, it is, it is more effects parts in a more pronounced addition than the star build strike for build fighters. Okay. The Star Build Strike for Build Fighters, you could actually buy the Star Build Strike as its own kit, or you could buy the Star Build Strike's effects parts with the, um, the Plavsky Gate. Mm. Um, the Plavsky Gate was um, its own little kit. Um, so it was it was totally, it was an optional thing, or you could just get it as its own kit. Mm. I think that, that probably would have been a better approach. But it's still a good kit. Um, it's a beautiful it, kit. Yeah. The, the, build... the, the camera's not doing it justice. Like, yeah. The camera is panicking to try to color adjust 
because of how beautiful the orange is on those flames. Yeah, these effects parts are gorgeous. They are really, really nice. They look great on a shelf, and I really want to see what they look like with like LEDs yeah, behind good them. Lighting. It would be really beautiful. Um, so I. It is, it is a great kit. It is a great kit. It's not that much different than the Build Burning Gundam. The Build Burning Gundam is a great kit. It's one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. um, it is super articulate. Um, it is it is easy to build. It's iconic. It looks wonderful. Um, so if I say anything that sounds negative about the Tri Burning, it's only because it's only a small upgrade over the Build Burning. Uh, I, I like the Tri Burning quite a bit. Um... And I would definitely recommend it if you're even remotely interested in that kit. So, there's our there's our Tri Burning Gundam. Um, if you guys haven't noticed, we have done a couple of talks videos lately. Um, we're uh, posting one right now that is a um, a touch on G Gundam. I've been posting bits and pieces of it, and also uh, we just recorded one about the women of Gundam and the significance of the star-winning Gundam. Um, so we're going to be putting that up soon, and we want to do more of these talks. They're really fun. So if you if you haven't seen them, check out the some of the G Gundam stuff. We would like to hear about it, or um, once we put up the women of Gundam video. Um, check it out and give us some topics. We would love to talk about things. We like deconstructing Gundam, um, not just building uh, model kits and things. So we construct, we deconstruct, we do it all. Yes, we do. We do both ends of that spectrum. <laughs> so let us know um, any topics, anything that you would like to hear us discuss about the Gundam stuff. Um, and if you've got any kits or anything you would like us to review, hit us up. If you like our video, subscribe, like, and comment. Um, there, that's about it. Matane, everyone. Matane.